Good morning, this is your media report for Tuesday, December 2nd, 2014. I'm Sergeant Jay Henderson of the St. John Police Force. During the last 24 hours, we have responded to 119 calls for service. We would like to hear from anyone that has any information concerning any of our calls or investigations, and we can be reached by telephone at 506-648-3333 at our email police at stjohn.ca. Or if you wish to do it anonymously, you can do it through the Provincial Crime Stoppers program at 1-800-222-8477 or on their website at crimemb.ca. Going back to yesterday's calls, at 9.41 a.m., we received a call regarding a vehicle that was broken into off of Vizard Street in the north end of St. John. The vehicle's owner stated that approximately $1,000 worth of Christmas gifts were taken from the trunk of this vehicle. The vehicle was believed to have been locked and the vehicle didn't sustain any damage. Our patrol division is investigating this matter. At 12.41 p.m. we were dispatched to an address off of Main Street North regarding a residence that had been the victim of a break enter and theft. This incident was believed to have occurred sometime during the last month while the tenants were away. No forced entry into this apartment was evident, however, several items including a TV, a PlayStation, fridge, food, and items of clothing were taken. Our major crime unit is investigating this incident. At 5.59 p.m. we took a report of a break and enter into a residence located off of Kyle Lane in the North End. The front door of this home was forced open and several items were strewn about and minor damage observed. It was believed that this break and enter occurred between 3 p.m. and 4 p.m. yesterday afternoon. At the time of this media report, nothing appears to be missing from this residence. Our investigation is continuing. And lastly to report, a 19-year-old male was assaulted with what appears to be bear spray. This assault occurred on Wentworth Street shortly after 8 p.m. last night. This male victim appears to know who the person or persons responsible were but at the time is not cooperating with this police investigation. This male was transported to the St. John Regional Hospital and was treated and released. It was later learned that this apartment that he occupies was the subject of a break and enter. The door of this apartment was forced open, causing damage. Nothing appears to have been taken. Our investigation into both of these matters is continuing. And this will end your media report for Tuesday, December 2nd, have a great day and be safe.